Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game From Scratch and today is the first Tuesday of the month and if you're a regular this channel, you know what that means. It is time for Unreal Christmas in April. Yes, the first Tuesday of every month, uh, Epic Games gives away a number of assets for Unreal Engine developers and this month is no exception. Now I'm going to run through this video pretty quickly though because today is also the state of Unreal starting at 11 a.m. I'm going to cover that later on today. Hopefully we get some cool announcements out of that. But first, let's look at our free stuff. So we only got one hands-on today and this was actually just my favorite asset of the batch. Uh, this is running inside of Unreal Engine 5. It is an Unreal Engine 4 asset, by the way. But what this one is, is basically a medieval low polygon. I love how people just have weapons racks in their house. But it is a low polygon uh, medieval village setting kit. So if you wanted to make uh, medieval style video games, that's what this pack is all about. Let me just bring up the, oops, wrong combo. We'll bring up the overview here. You can get an idea of what is in the pack. Uh, so this obviously is one of the uh, things available. Basically, it's all of the uh, the model sets that you see available right here. Everything we saw in that level being used, a number of different walls and windows and such that can be put together in a modular manner. Um, on top of that, you've got things like books and uh, lanterns and so on. Uh, the weapons are going to be here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but uh, and we've got nice animated fireplaces all in a very low polygon style. So that is one of the five free assets you're getting this month. And without further ado, let's go take a look at what the other assets are as well. So by the way, uh, you have until the first Tuesday of next month. So uh, by May 1st or May, whatever the first Tuesday in May is, uh, you can buy these for free. They are completely uh, $0 to buy them. Basically, just add them to cart and check out. So even if you aren't using Unreal Engine now, just start being a digital hoarder. You may be able to use these at some point in the future. So we get five assets here. Now, this one is a little bit interesting because it is as straightforward as it gets. It's just um, a set of, it's a, basically a bakery scene and all of the fresh bread and such you see in the bakery scene. Now, the reason why this one is interesting is for some reason, this is a uh, create new project style thing as opposed to an add to project, which makes zero sense to me. Uh, but that's just the way it is set up. I kind of don't like that. I really wish people did that uh, in the other manner. Uh, but as you can see here, you're getting photo uh, 40 photo scan food models, 30 um, deco 3D models, 50 models for the bakery and the outside street, a bunch of materials, and so on. So pretty straightforward on the whole. If you need to have a bakery scene or a bunch of food in your scene, uh, that is what the VP Real Food and Bakery set is all about. Next up, we have the Modular Concert Stage. Um, this is, uh, let's see... Not really well described, but basically it is what you need to create your own stage. So 31 props for building the truss frame, 16 props for building the stage, 14 speakers in different sizes, 4 simple props for making the roofing, 2 props for making LED walls, 9 flight cases, 2 cable protectors, and 1 barrier. So if you need to have uh, virtual stages, uh, that is what this asset pack is all about. Next up, we have the Medieval House Modular Volume 2. This is, uh, actually, no, this isn't what we saw in action. This one is for making a more realistic style medieval house. And you see here, you get a ton of assets in this guy for basically building uh, things like this. So almost um, the Scandinavian longhouse sort of look. Um, it's all the assets you need. So basically, uh, modular packs for building uh, that style of housing. It's about two and a half or three gigabytes in size. Um, so it already is compatible with Unreal Engine 5, by the way. Uh, so you get 209 modular assets, 16 pre-made buildings, 73 nature assets, a, <coughs> a rock, debris, etc., uh, decals, PBR materials, a demo scene, texture atlas, and more. So if you want to go with the medieval housing, but not necessarily the low polygon style, well, they got you covered in this pack. And if you want to go with the low polygon look, well, this is what we saw earlier in action. That is this pack right here. Uh, again, I really uh, like the look of it. Uh, they've got a variety of demo scenes showcasing what you can do with it. I just think in general this pack is its probably the, the one I like the most. Uh, but it might just be the way they rigged up the example scenes. Again, there's a lot of weapon racks in the, this medieval world. Uh, but that is a pretty straightforward pack on the whole. Uh, it is composed of 155 plus different models, some particle systems, 24 blueprinted items, 9 awesome demo scenes. And i got to give them credit. They actually did a pretty good job on their demo scenes. You saw two of them in action there. And then 9 weapons, including an axe, 2 daggers, 2 shields, 2 swords, and 2 spears. Uh, so pretty straightforward pack on the whole. Uh, which I have a knack for saying. And on the topic of modular, uh, this time we're not medieval, we're modern day, uh, but it's the modern neighborhood pack, so you can build houses quickly with those uh, complete modular neighborhood pack. 
including swimming pools. Uh, so if you want to have uh, more of a, you know, today vibe going on, that is what this pack is all about. Oh, they don't have an overview asset shot, uh, but you can get an idea of the kind of stuff that's in this. It contains 130 modular house pieces, uh, 4K textures, and so on and so forth. So if you want to uh, create houses, you're basically building them out of virtual Lego blocks of things like chimneys, uh, house and garage doors with blueprints, nine driveway segments, 10 floor segments, inner wall, house numbers, and so on and so forth for creating a modern subdivision, if you will. Now, you could look a little cookie cutter, but hey, so do modern subdivisions. Uh, and then we're getting into the permanently free collection. Now, this one has no time limit. Uh, I haven't got the official announcement yet, uh, but it does appear that this is the new asset, which is the uh, Bistro Restaurant scene. I do believe that this is new. Uh, it's from the ArchViz side of things, so it's it's aiming to be kind of as realistic as possible. Uh to hear a decent number of assets in it, you kind of mix and match them into other stuff. Now, there could possibly be another addition into the um, the permanently free collection. This one has always announced the last, so I can't say that for certain, but it's almost always just one asset. But then again, earlier or later on today, we have the state of Unreal. So on April 5th, which is today at 11 a.m., which as I'm recording this is basically in 10 minutes, uh, this will be up and going. So I'll be producing this video while I am watching that, the state of Unreal. Uh, I will watch for any good or cool announcements out of this and cover them later this day if appropriate and hopefully get a bit of a, a short summary version of what the state of Unreal was all about. But that was it. So that is this month's free stuff for Unreal Engine. As I ask you every month, is this kind of convincing you to maybe try out Unreal Engine? Are you hoarding these things as you go? And if you are part of the hoarding community such as myself, uh, what do you think of this month's collection? Again, we have the, the cafe and bread. Uh, we have the modular concert stage. We have a medieval house in a realistic style, medieval house toolkit in a low polygon style, uh, and then we have a neighborhood style toolkit for modern day, and then in the final, um, in the permanently free collection, we have the uh, bistro restaurant scene pack. Not a bad haul, nothing really overwhelming in it, but nothing bad either. Let me know what you think, comments down below, and stay tuned for the state of Unreal. Talk to you all later, goodbye.